emphasis. You know, uh, I'm going to start uh, by answering a question that uh, the senator from Kansas asked rhetorically. Why is it that American citizens and consumers and merchants pay seven times what is paid by merchants and individuals in, the, in, in Europe? It's because our government doesn't protect our consumers. Our government is not protecting our merchants and our small businesses. Where there is a monopoly, or in this case, a duopoly, and there's this massive pricing power that Visa and MasterCard have, they're doing what monopolies and duopolies do. They abuse that pricing power, and they just stick it to our merchants. You know, it was $33 billion in charges in, 19, or in, uh, in, in 2013. It's $93 billion in charges now. And it's not as though the expenses for Visa MasterCard have really gone up anything close to that. Inflation is their ally, as you, as you said. COVID was their ally, as we had to rely more on those cards. And they justify what they're doing because it's a convenience for the shopper. You know what? It is a convenience for the shopper. It's a convenience for the merchant. But how does that justify a ripoff? Just because you're doing something that we need. And it's folks in Kansas who voted for my Republican colleague. It's vote, folks in Illinois who voted for my uh, Democratic colleague. It's all of the people we represent. And all of these small businesses that are absolutely essential to our local economy and to the vitality of our small communities. You know, we were at that press conference and your grocery store folks were here, Senator Marshall. They were salt of the earth. They were like the highest compliment I can give. They're almost like Vermonters, all right? They were, they were terrific people. And we had, a, we had a father and we had the son who was going into the family business. And the family business is about serving people in that community. And you know, we've got a store in Vermont, Dan and Witts, which has been there uh, for generations. And it, its motto is if, you don't, uh, if we don't have it, you don't need it. And you can basically get anything you want. But do you know during COVID when they had these incredible challenges with workforce, they actually put an ad on the signboard and retired folks from Norwich would come and help do the work, stack the shelves, uh, do the checkout. And when a lot of my neighbors found out that every time a customer used a credit card, it was costing Dan and Witts two to three to four percent just so they would pay the bill, they were they were shocked and appalled. And this store, like your store uh, in, uh, in in Kansas, all of them, there's retail is hard. That is such hard work. You've got to watch your cost. You've got to save your money. You've got to provide really good service. And Senator Derby, you mentioned the second highest expense for many of these small merchants is the cost of the credit card, paying the bill. And you know, it's invisible to most of us when we use our card, because I always thought if I use my card and I pay my bill, I'm not gonna have to pay those 25% uh, interest rates. But when I found out about what was going on, how much the merchants were getting ripped off, it actually was the last time we had over $4 gas and I was filling up at my local uh, small convenience store and I went in and talked to the, uh, to the owner, uh, got my coffee, got a donut. Uh, <laughs> but <clears throat> he got out his bill and he showed me that when I filled up a tank of gas at be, be, at, with the swipe fee and then the percentage that was taken out in very, very small margin on the sale of a gallon of gas for these stores, he was losing money. Fees of MasterCard were doing fine, but my local merchant was losing money. And you know, the thing that I so enjoy about being with my colleagues here and Senator Vance on this bill is at the heart of this, we understand that in rural America, in small town America, in neighborhoods, even in big cities like Chicago, these local stores, these merchants, they give us so much service and so much emotional satisfaction. It's where you stop in, you talk to folks you see every day, you share the stories about who won, what happened to the Bears, what, ha what happened to the Patriots. But 
We need those places. Our communities, democratic life needs those places. And this is not a democratic Republican deal. All of the people we represent in all of America want to have a sense of community. And who more than our local merchants, who oftentimes live above the store, right? I mean, pretty tough job. They come down, sweep it up in the beginning and at the end. They give kids their first jobs. So many high school kids work in these stores and they learn how to be a good employee, how to do good customer service. They, they, the, the ability to hire these kids gets compromised because of this extra expense. And really, what are they doing? I mean, we're paying a bill, all right? They've got incredible intellectual property. They've got security systems. All of that, it is good. It's a service. So no dispute there. But just because you're providing a service doesn't entitle you to rip off everyday merchants because you can. And the question that I think we have to ask as the United States Senate is what's our job and who do we work for? Our job is not to pad the already obscene profits of Visa MasterCard. Our job is to protect our merchants who are doing the work day in and day out, our consumers who are doing their best uh, to stay afloat, pay their bills, get from one end of the month to the other, and hope their checks clear, they can pay their credit card bill. Our obligation is to the people who have no power, but who do have a right to expect that their elected representatives and senators, when they see a ripoff, will call it a ripoff and stand up and say, you're going to get treated fairly. And that is essential for restoring our trust and faith in one another. It's essential for our obligation to help communities that are working so hard to create a sense of place that people want, a sense of connection that we want, to make certain that those businesses that are doing so much in all of our communities, that are doing so much in all of our communities, can keep doing that work that is strengthening communities providing good jobs to our kids, and you know what? Let's act. Let's pass Senator Durbin's, Senator Marshall's bill, and let's protect our merchants against these rip-off credit card fees from Visa and MasterCard. I yield back.